Warning, Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. Uh, did you double guns or one gun? I, I one gun. You one gun? Okay. Yeah, but you just double nice. Oh, throw another one. Huh? Throw another one. Mark, your initiative is up next. How are the, how are the two other Glabros reacting to this? Let's see, they were facing you. They might not even know that they're, the Arun's dead. Because they're, they're fighting over here. Their battlefield awareness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, can I? He's got this. <laughs> I'm going to spend a blood to activate Dumbly. Dread Gaze. On the one that was attacking me first. Uh, I think Dread Gaze is like an AoE. Hmm? Is it oh, it says I have to pick somebody. Okay. And you pick me! <laughs> I pick Byrick Ash. No. Yeah, run, Byrick! <laughs> <laughs> Stay here, so. Tell the others what happens! It's the character may attempt Dread Gaze once per turn against a single target, though she may also perform it as an extended action, adding her successes in order to subjugate the target completely. You may also what in order to subject the target completely? Uh, main, make it an extended action, so I can just keep dread gazing them okay. once I initiate it. So, the one that tried to stab at me first, your worm breaker is dead, your fetish is gone. You, despite being a wolf, are small, pathetic, and weak. As I activate dread gaze, charisma, intimidation, a difficulty equal to the victim's wit's courage. Wit's courage. Does he get a bonus if he turns around and sees his... His ally, his fucking soldier ally, dead. Uh, or would he get a bonus? Wits curse is called a diff six. Okay. I'm gonna spend a willpower. Oh man, free successes. Forgot about those. For what? Spending willpower. Oh yeah, I can also do that. There's so many things I forget in this game. I am wounded. It's like I don't. Minus it's like one. I don't. But I have one success. <laughs> three successes. Which means... Yeah, the difficulty three or more successes means he runs away in abject fear. Okay, so basically like a fox frenzy. He just... His face drops and he immediately shifts into lupus and bolts. In fact, he's going to turn do use his turn to do that because he was next. So he's fucking tearing ass into the into the wild, wilder lands. But the next one's gonna kill you. <laughs> the next one turns and goes, Wormbreaker's fallen! What do you think I told you? And then, <laughs> as she expands, these this great hulking black and white furred form uh, try, attempts to assume Krynos. Butch, 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 butch. She only needs a diff six to transform. This time. Actually, butch, butch, butch. Yeah, it's six for the, the big forms. Okay. The base horns. Uh, so there's now a Krynos werewolf bearing down on you, and she is going to take a swipe. Okay. This one I can't take the hit for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you boldly can. <laughs> <laughs> she, her brawl isn't as good as Wormbreaker. Wormbreaker was a country folk, but she is now in Krynos. Yeah. I used uh, I used the stats for uh, the werewolves and under a blood red moon. The only thing I did was assign them gifts. You didn't want to use our character sheets. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't want to kill them. So her her brawl went from eight or windbreakers from like twelve to hers just having you know nine. That is only one success. Uh, it is a good thing that you got rid of uh, the theurge because he was about to jam technology. Which meant Byrick's gun and the cable car was going. Oh. Uh, so that's only one. Su oh. Oops. It's mechanics, though. Uh, what? No, jam technology specifically says it works. It's a difficulty eight to jam guns, and I it actually the difficulty is higher the more like I guess what's the what's the word Advanced. primitive? No, primitive. Oh. Different. Like you can turn off knives. With a diff nine, oh man! A phone, a phone, and I assume they mean this because I'm using 20th anniversary. A phone is diff seven. Turn off the knife. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> they just don't cut. That's dumb. That's great. So it's two I successes. That is stupid. 
The one of isolation? No, man, I want that uh, that red talent gift. You're immune to any technology. <laughs> bullets? Bullets! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not technology, that's just a rock! You're immune to bullets. One, two, three, four, Quinta Bar, five. <laughs> At least you've given me Six. a reason to start, you know. Six successes? Six! I'm probably dead. No, you're not dead yet. Roll fortitude. Uh, minus one for hurt. Uh, it, it goes, like, you're... No, you're, uh, soaking is reflexive and does not take the, the dice pull penalties. Yes, I know that. I'm, I'm saying he's only going to be have his bashing go down to... Oh, wow, you actually are hurt. Okay, roll it fortitude. Three successes. Okay, so you only take three levels of egg. So you're gonna turn these two into asterisks. Uh, you're gonna have one more asterisk and then two X's. So guys, what characters are you gonna play while your characters are healing? How long does it take to heal? Uh, you're gonna be out for like weeks. <laughs> no, it's uh, it takes a knight and five blood points to heal. Uh, one. Heal um, one egg. And willpower. It takes willpower too? I, I, I don't remember that, but uh... It's super fucking shitty. So I'm with you guys. <laughs> Alright, so you guys have effectively taken <laughs> two werewolves out. There's one left. Uh, si se puede mijo. Let's roll initiative. She's gonna go first. She doesn't have Spirit of the Fray. She has been rolling dick shit this whole time. I'm spending that blood point for that extra dex. So you don't have to do oh, it. Okay. It's for the scene. Ah, cool. Uh, you do have to spend willpower though to ignore uh, uh, will your penalties for the turn. Doing it. You can only spend one willpower per turn, right? I mean, yes, yes. Ugh, fuck it, I'll use it. All right. You don't want to spend it on extra successes? I would rather have done that. Uh, Byrick, how'd you do? I got up to uh, what is it called? Fifteen. Fifteen. Mark. That number between 14, 14. and 16? 14. Both of you beat her. Byrick, <laughs> you are up first and you were behind her. Damn it, I keep forgetting the fucking PDF. You can just shoot her. Yeah. I can, I know. Byrick, I kind of want to drink. Things too. Me too. Uh, you sure drink? <laughs> <laughs> you won't go up with Jen. I know. Uh, basically, werewolf blood, I believe, is three times as potent as human blood, so every blood point you take from them gives you three, and I think they also get a temporary dot of potence while it's in their system. If you want it. So, I mean, you should probably just drink them because you're going to need that fucking blood. I actually have a, a surplus of blood. There's a little two baggies that he gets. Oh, I also have that. Wait, how do you have a surplus of blood? Uh, I'm seventh gen, and I was full. You can only go up to I have a blood pool of 20. Oh. But isn't the max like... What are you, 15? Uh, as a 7th generation vampire, his max trait rating is 6th, his blood pool is 20, and his okay. blood points per turn is 4. You could be fucking blowing the shit out of this place. Just potents left and right and celerity just... <laughs> uh. Whoever... If you if you're gonna drain it, be sure to kill it. Yeah, oh, I know. We gave <laughs> I uh, anyway. Uh, where's obtain operation? I'll have Byrick hold his action for now, so we can keep going with your. I'm gonna go ahead and dread gaze this woman. So spending that blood point. Are there rules against? Well, I guess she's technically not in frenzy yet. So yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna attempt a cow tour. So, spending it to ignore the dice penalty. Six dice. And I'm going to take the extended action so I can try to completely make her lock eyes with me and try to break her down. Okay. Now, ah, she's blind! <laughs> Two successes. Two successes. Does so, that work on blind people? I don't know. There's so a whole sidebar it, about icon. It's not, she's not exactly, I don't know, three is running away in abject fear, I'm not sure what two is. I will find out, because I am indeed using Adobe Acrobat. I am the Flash Adult. Now I'm not going to let her break eye contact with me, though. I, I'm going to get her in the fetal position and drain her. 
For those of you who don't know, Murphy Fierro is a monster bowling character and out. He drinks club soda. <laughs> Bob, you're the only person I know that does this. It is, it is strange to me. You know what? You know what just success strange, indicates right? the victim is cowed, while failure means <laughs> target is startled. Uh, three or more successes <laughs> runs away in abject fear. Victims have nowhere to run, claw at the walls. Uh, each success subtracts one from target's actions dice pool. Uh, okay, it's minus two. So she's not running away. Uh, really? Yeah, she has minus two. I don't. I don't know how to handle this. She didn't have enough successes to make her run away. She's definitely afraid of him. You know what? I know how to do this. We're going to do a frenzy. Friend, just, just, just frenzy. Does frenzy subtract from accuracy? No. Does frenzy subtract from accuracy? Soda machine. No. Yeah, it's soda water. I've never been frenzied. No. Uh, okay. Just, just, just makes you go <laughs> So it just makes you do better. No, you just can't. You're like, you're just going to keep attacking. And no one's uh, going to Or you keep running. Depending. So, yes. You have activated a fox frenzy in her uh, with your dread gaze, and she is... She runs away anyways. Well, Byrakash has his turn. I'm going to shroud the knight. Shroud of night. Okay, what does that do? I create a cloud of inkling blackness. It's it's what I used to... When we did the Dialberry party. Yes, I, I, I know that's what it is, but I don't remember what it does. Uh, I... I roll manipulation plus occult, difficulty 7, to generate darkness roughly 10 feet in diameter. Each success, additional success doubles the diameter. But Tom, worlds don't need to see. I checked this. I mean, I could pull some shenanigans with primal ears, but she's a Hamid. Her primary perception is her sight. Now, if this was a lupus, we'd be having this discussion all day. And you're fu you guys are fucking lucky. I put in enough work because I love you guys that I gave them fucking breed tribe and hospice. I didn't just say woo woo lupines. The Terry Mass actually ex extinguishes light swords that it, it engulfs, with the exception of fire, muffles sound until they are indistinguishable. Those within the cloud lose all sights of all senses of sight and feel, as though they were immersed in, in pitch. Sound also warps and distorts within the cloud, making it nearly impossible to accomplish anything. Plus two difficulty as per blind fight. Even those possessed of heightened senses, eyes of the beast, tongue of the ash, or similar power suffer the penalty for blindness due to the unnatural darkness. Okay. Uh, Additionally, being surrounded by the Shroud of Darkness reduces stamina-based dice pools by two dice as the Merc smothers and agitates the victims. The effect is not co cumulative with shadow play okay so i've lost two dice to stamina and i can't see basically yes that uh right. and then plus two for blind fighting which i believe blind fighting is another plus two isn't it mm. so i'm assuming that's a plus four difficulty to everything she does also minus two wow there's a lot of fucking modifiers at work 3.5 anyone uh <laughs> so i'm blind but your smell works just fine <laughs> yeah again ooh she does have the heightened senses gift, but she would. Have it just said heightened senses doesn't work. Doesn't, it's even magic those darkness. Of heightened senses. Okay, but it only doesn't work on your. It says heightened senses. Uh, yeah, they can't see. Rules is written. They can't see. Rules is written. They can't see. Why are you trying to screw us? Because <laughs> <laughs> you got away with far too much. <laughs> so did you. What did I do? <coughs> the gentle bar cash. <laughs> Energy tool. Right, so. uh, well, it doesn't matter. She would have to activate it anyway, and she's not in her right frame of mind. This is an animalistic, I need to get out of here, that he is triggering her. Um, so, lupus form run? I'm thinking. Which one is triggered by her gosh? Because she doesn't know. So, I need help. Uh, first, I'm going to make her do her change roll. Uh, how far, so how many successes did you get and from Shroud of Night? Also, time. What? Oh, roll your Shroud of Night. She's losing two. I want it to be fair for when we play Werewolf. One, two, three, <laughs> four successes. Four successes. So you have a 40 foot diameter radius. I see uh, both no, sides of the It doubles. That means every time. She goes. failed. She does not shift to Lopus and just starts tromp, tromp, tromp in Krynos. Um, oh, is that all? 
Do you remember how to calculate fucking speed in this bitch? Something to do with dexterity plus like 15. Uh. Now the downside is you're also suffering from that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no dice pool. Uh, Josh. Dex plus athletics times five yards. Wait, is that Dex, wait, Dex times Dex? athletics? No, it's. Dex times athletics? I mean, it just might be Dex times blank feet. I think it's like Dex times like plus 15 or something. I can't fucking remember. Uh, you know what? Just, I'm gonna say that she's gonna try bolt. You hear the heavy footsteps of her within your bubble, she does not make it all the way out. Oh, I can see her. Well, then you see yeah, her the, the not you... make it all the way out of the darkness. She's hauling ass. Um, let's do initiatives again. I wonder who's going first. Not me. She doesn't have spirit with the fray. She doesn't. Like, that Arun had super yep. decks because you know what that does. Uh, two plus decks with seven, nine... How'd you do, Byrick? I got 12. How'd you do, Mark? 14. Well, then you're first. You can't see. You cannot see. <laughs> you, you freaked her out, and then you went blind. <laughs> <laughs> but you, this has happened before. She's actually a mirror. So, it affected my sight, right? Yes. I'm switching aspects back to smell. It, and now I'm hunting the werewolf as the wolf. Uh, I'm pretty sure it blocks the height and senses. Uh, With well, sight, right? Tom, you're magic. fucking us for werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Xavier, fuck yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, if if exi- well, I know I need a unanimous decision. If it, I've always said that it's I will follow the said, same rules that you guys do. It specifically said sight and sound. It so, also said, and feel. It also said tongue of the ass. Okay. So, uh, let's let's put it to a vote. We both know how you guys feel, and you kind of have a vested interest in this. Oh god damn it! <laughs> how do you think should heightened senses for smell uh, override his shroud of night? So this this is a shroud of night. This is an inky black tar-like substance. Around. Supernatural magic. One hour later. You can use your, your taste inside, it's like the floor. <laughs> 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 she went this way. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that was the stupidest thing ever said. High five. Two hours later. When a snake flicks its tongue, it collects odors that are present present in molecules, moisture floating throughout. Yeah, but yeah. the mechanical, the way it works in vampires. So now you want to make it mechanical? mechanical. Make your fucking mind up. <laughs> Making it mechanical, because it says feel. Mechanically. In Vampire the Masquerade, Tongue of the Ass use vibrations. Then that's why touch doesn't work. That's why you can't touch. feel. Because it blocks sight, sound, and feel. Damn it, Tom. Pay attention. Keep up. <laughs> so, yeah. you're the one changing the fucking story. I'm not. You are. No, I just... Yeah. Day two. You so, say, hey, it, I, I, I made my decree. It is up to these guys. So you say it only affects... Sight, yeah. It you only know? affects sight and sound. Same, yeah, because that's... Yeah. Keep track here. It works, but uh, there's something. Oh no, she's dread gaze. That's so you're. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Ooh. How long does Blur of the Milky Eye last? She like, did have that active. I don't. I think it lasts. Does it? Does it last for a scene? I, I can't. I can't remember. Okay. It was like, it was so like, I'm gonna. Yeah. We're messed? gonna. No, we're gonna go a Dex stealth. You're gonna give me perception. Alertness, and you're gonna roll a diff seven. Success. How many? One. Uh, one, two, three. You smell. You can't pick her up. I'm running out of the circle then. Or I'm trying to run out of the blackness in that case. Are you going to run the direction that you know the werewolf to have gone, or are you gonna run away from the werewolf? I'm running towards her. Okay, you're running towards her. Off the cliff. No, I, I want. To, I'm trying to maintain my dread eye contact with her. Okay. That's why I'm trying to run to where I think she's going to come out. Uh, so you're just chasing her at this point. Neither one of you have left the blackness. So yeah, Byrick, what do you want to do? I'm going to fire. I'm, I'm going to shoot her. This time, just one. 
Go ahead. Your ba- I'll give you the two dice for attacking from behind. Okay. I, it's not difficulty four anymore, is it? Uh, she is not uh, immediately at point blank range. All right, but I still have a special turn. Two, four, six. Difficulty seven or six? Uh, you're shooting a uh, six. Six. And special twos means I. Uh, your tens counters two. Oh. I want to say I rolled eleven dice. It's like a Mosin Nagant and a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled eleven <laughs> dice, one missed, and I have. One, two, three, four, five tens showing. You have five tens? Five tens, and of the eleven, I only missed one die. That's ten successes, Tom. You get another die. <laughs> why, why, why do you hate me? <laughs> I don't hate you. Why, why is it when I try to do cool things? I was just like, oh, I did well. We can do a cool thing with the main character. Okay, let me, let me, <laughs> let me explain my, my thought process. He got seven. He got seven successes to know something about the gang around This is their clan discipline, so yeah. it's pretty esoteric to them. For him, if he needed to know something about the gang around later, it wouldn't have made sense for him to just not know. Oh, they they yeah. didn't sprout claws. That was a pretty damn good shot. <laughs> it was a damn good shot. He doesn't. He didn't learn anything from it. Yeah. This was a way of making of making sure we remember that he knows gang around shit. All right, Gangrel lore might not even be a real thing. It's probably Camarilla lore. I made it up. I gave him a little... I gave him a thing. Ten successes. I soak three. So that is... Uh, oh, I haven't rolled damage yet. Oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> so that's nine extra successes. Do you want to borrow ten dice? Nine successes. Wait, what? No, oh, wait, no, hang on. Let me count the successes. It's... One... I'm not counting the tens yet. One, two, three... Four. Now I'm going for the tens. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So thirteen extra successes. So that's plus five. Seven. Uh, eighteen. That's eighteen. Eighteen. Do you need dice? Actually, does. No. Does uh, what? He doesn't re-roll his decks for that, right? No. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, it's just, it's just weapon damage plus extra successes, yeah. huh? My dex is pumped. I forgot about that. Level eight. Did you spend point? Did you spend your celerity? No. Now, did you spend a willpower for to ignore your wound penalties? Yes. Okay. Roll your extra celerity die too, because fuck it. <laughs> it's another success. Roll a celerity die. That was it. Okay. So. Nineteen. And your pumped up dex. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> That's a seven. Please roll twenty dice of damage. <laughs> Do you need 10 dice? I need 10 dice. Uh, I imagine this ends no. up just a mist of no. blood and fur. I don't... You correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even think Gabriel, your home game character, has rolled 20 dice of damage. Uh, he's gotten pretty not, damn close. Not yet. <laughs> that was... That, that was... Fucking... Just so many 10s. That's the only reason that happened. I kind of wanted to live because I need a monologue at her. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to talk this through. Yeah. You'll, 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 you'll be lucky the if there's a mouth left. Sense of the blood? Okay. I've talked to you, with you about this a couple times, Charlie. But I understand no one listens to me. Oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Fire cash! How much, how much damage did you do? Quit can, can I continue now? Yes, please. <laughs> you sure? We're not gonna have any more interruptions? I'll okay, think right. about it. Oh, okay, let, me fi- let, let you finish <laughs> thinking about it first. <laughs> Please, how much, how much damage, Tom? That's two ones. I don't think she's dead. <laughs> One, two, oh, passive three, aggressive three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not passive seven, aggressive. Eight, eight, <laughs> he literally eight, told his ear to go fuck <laughs> Sam. Yeah, Tom is being very aggressive. Well, <laughs> 13. I don't know what brought on this hostility. I don't know what brought on this hostility, Tom. What hostility? That's a spirit. <laughs> I'm can what? Anyway, thirteen minus two, eleven. Eleven damage, of which I soak three, so that's eight. Can can you take more than seven levels of damage? Like 
when I when I roll her haha I'm not dead check, uh, does she start at seven or does she have negative health boxes? I, I, I don't. Pretty think sure you start at seven. Yeah, I don't think it's a negative. All right, rolling haha I'm not dead. Uh, she does not succeed. So Byrick Ash levels his Mauser and her head explodes like a fucking melon, and just you hear a crack, bang, thud. Uh, you just sort of see her. I don't know. It was more like a boom, boom, boom. Good point. Enough. Yes. Well, unless he drops it. <laughs> you you see her shrink back into her Hamid form, quite headless now. <laughs> and I just want to say, I did not pull any punches. I I let the dice fall where they may. You guys survived that on your own. <laughs> I even took the extra hit. Yeah. I will, uh... Y'all, y'all are bosses. Well, well we, 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 we met. I magicked one of them away. <laughs> <laughs> Barry pretty much took care of the rest. I'll, I'll drop the, the darkness. Can I still collect blood from these werewolves? Um, Through you? magic he has seed <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a reward for this, so if you wish, you can... Uh... Can I get a, an axe with a werewolf? <laughs> I, I, was, I was a noob storyteller. I didn't know what I was doing. That was the dumbest fucking mistake I ever made. You you wanna, to be fair, <laughs> is it is it better to give him one? Bio Cash doesn't eat anything. That's a good point. He's gonna put the point figures in his boy. He's like, woof, <laughs> <laughs> bang bullets. Did you just shoot me with fingers? <laughs> Ah uh, yes, he too has that werewolf gift. <laughs> this isn't technology. These are fingers. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Just get potents and flick them. Uh, yeah, I will allow you guys to collect blood. Just sort of smoothing my hair back. I'm like, it's absolutely barbaric, isn't it? You how uh, how are you doing? I'm at wounded. Okay, so you're. Mm. How are you doing? I was at crippled. Crippled. Uh, so here's a here's a rule that I've been ignoring, but I think it adds care uh, adds flavor to the characters. Aggravated damage always causes scars. Now you can heal it. So you you tell me kind of like what scars are left on your body from this. I got clawed by a werewolf, right? Yeah. Uh, my crippled. face or my chest. Uh, let's we'll we'll go for the chest. You probably went center mass. Or is it like this or probably like that? I'll I'll well I got two aggravated levels. Two ag okay that's not so bad. So it's, yeah you just have like a normal slice. Uh, Fire <laughs> Gash is probably looking into his stomach cavity right now. <laughs> There's at least five fucking holes in my fucking like rib cage. <laughs> they tear through his blood packs though. I'll I'll keep the werewolf scars. Okay. Yes, boy. I'm not gonna heal them. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll keep the scars, but I'll, I, I will heal the damage once I dig into one of these werewolves. As will I, but I'm gonna heal the scars. Um. So long as you guys don't engage in any strenuous activity for the rest of the night, we'll go D and D rules. Yeah, I will allow you to spend your first five blood points to uh, heal the first level of ag. And a willpower. And a willpower. Do I gain a willpower for wantonly fucking engaging werewolves as a nihilist nature? I don't think so. I, 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 this wasn't wanton. You got attacked by them. Yeah, I could have run away, though. I was not a gun. Oh, allow it. Especially after I got down to cripple. Do you have a good reason why I should give you? I'm an anarchist. I don't know if I broke any rules doing this. <laughs> Other than blatantly telling them I knew where their fetish was. No, either that was just kind of a ha-ha, dicks. I, I wanted them to listen. They're, they're not getting it back now. Two of them are dead. Yeah, surely none of our kind would ever be like that. Do you want to... Oh, man, you should write in blood just like, follow Don Fiero. <laughs> I was going to write Don Sebastian took your fetish somewhere. I'm assuming I have like a, a notepad That's or something in my jacket. <laughs> Don Sebastian? Uh, I mean, probably sure. didn't do it personally. But, uh, yeah, I'm, him. 
Do you want to take the, 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 the head blown off woman or the wolf if we're draining a little? Well, it, he's now just a Mexican. As he stated. No, 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 the Mexican rat. Uh, the woman... Is the a Aru was a wolf. Wormbreaker was a lupus, so he's a wolf. He's a Mexican oh. wolf. Oh. Did you, did you think I was calling him a coyote? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I ignored the... Like, my, my ears turned off how you said Mexican. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's all the time. It was... This is a world of dangers. <laughs> uh, so. No, I, I'll take... I'll take the not-wolf. You want the headless woman? I don't mind draining a wolf. Um, do they have the standard 10-blood pool? I mean, not anymore. It's all over the fucking pavement. Uh, How much blood do they have in them? Again, each one point from them yeah, is worth three, three to you. So so with five, you're good. Yeah, you can probably fill up. So uh, fill up and then, and then spend five. it immediately. Huh? Fill up and then lose five? Uh, because I like you, I'll let you spend. Because I gotta give you a reward for taking out three werewolves. Like, I didn't I didn't build this to fuck you guys over. I, as a storyteller, present situations. I knew you weren't gonna talk your way out of this one, but I didn't know how it would shake out. Uh, I had some ideas if... Uh, you want to call her Veronica. Virginia was here. But uh, I gotta give you guys something cool for taking these guys out. I didn't pull any punches for you. So yes, I will totally allow you to spend your blood pool to heal your first ag and your willpower, and then you can refill off the wolves. While you guys do that, we are going to go back to... I was going to say, what, what uh, ninth generation, my pool is 14, right? Your ninth? I thought you were eighth. Nope. Your pool is 14, and your blood points per turn are two. Okay. Knew the blood points, wasn't sure on the blood pool. So, we're <coughs> in that case. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. So, can I make a cocktail? No, I don't think so. I didn't shove a straw in the stump where his head is. <laughs> and a little umbrella. I am. Wherever he leaves that headless woman's body, I'm writing a note saying Don Sebastian took your fetish, Prince of the, the, the Leeches in LA. Did you should just say Seek the Prince? Uh, that could be construed as a masquerade breach. And I will I, give you a willpower for your anarchist background. Oh yeah, this this guy screwed me. I'm screwing him back. Good job. Uh, so Murphy Fierro, we come back to you. Uh, on the way back, Nines has basically filled you in on the way Kendra Society works. You have to keep your uh, keep yourself hidden, hide yourself from the mortals, from the other supernaturals out there. Uh, he will, will basically teach you as though he were a surrogate sire. Do you have the incomplete understanding flaw? If not, you do now, and now it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, addiction, vengeful, mistaken identity, disgrace to the blood. Yes, this all describes Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are you sure you're not Cater? You're Kadef that you're actually Kadef that just happened to take all the Ravnos. <laughs> no, no, he's a Kadef, but he still has his clan weakness. That I'll sucks. You, I'll tell you what. Uh, Xavier's gonna hate me for this. More uh, so than I already. <laughs> uh, but under Nine's tutelage, he will give you one dot in politics, which will uh, serve as you knowing how this shit works. And he will also give you a dot in brawl because that's what he did in Bloodlines. Goddamn it, he's the kind of guy to teach you how to fist fight. Bitch. So now it is up to you to go find a vessel for your new grade A smack. Oh boy! I love. <laughs> Didn't you give Adam all your smack tools? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did they give him smack? In, in case you died, you died he can summon he can summon you as a wraith. <laughs> you, you were expecting to die. Well, <laughs> simply, I just, I have a plan. Just cut your veins open, put the rock in there. That doesn't work either. <laughs> in any case, we need to find another animal. Oh my god. Why don't you just use people? <laughs> Ooh, be quiet. <laughs> What's my Because I can talk to animals and I can give veins. You can talk to people. Did you ever give him... That never no, works. Never? No. I seem to remember him taking them back, but if... No. If no one else at the table, if, 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 if even Murphy does not remember taking them back, then yeah, you don't have your shit. I'm quite alright with that. <clears throat> this is how disasters happen. 
No, we're going, to, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> so where are me and Nines? Uh, Nines is. You guys are at the Lucky Star Motel. Nines Lucky is basically Star. letting you out, <laughs> making sure that you are adorned as Pepe Warhol. Pepe, there you go. Uh, Pepe so, Warhol has a dog in politics, but Murphy Fierro doesn't. <laughs> 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 to uh, go find your victim, knowing now what you know about the masquerade and kindred society. And now, do you ignore these? That, that I, I, I have learned much, although I've Murphy learned. Murphy Fierro's ignorance is dispelled. If there are any questions that you would have had about Kindred Society, he would have answered them for you. Oh, um, I guess I did have one question for him. What which is? Uh, if there is a headhunt on me right now, how do I? Bloodhunt. Bloodhunt. He still says headhunt. <laughs> That's a difficult question to answer. Don Sebastian isn't usually the kind to sentence blood hunts. He likes to deal with people more creatively. It seems that a few more crimes have been pinned on me than I actually did. That's not surprising. Well, that is clever. Uh, I guess if you can assume a different identity, there's no reason for me to hide you up here. <laughs> Step behind a curtain and come back out. Oh! This is my alternate identity. I moonlight as an artist and sell my. I didn't want you to find out like this. <laughs> we talked about this in the car a couple hours ago. Ah, yes, yes. I was hoping you forgot. Perhaps <laughs> if I dress like this, then I will not be found, but uh, it seems that uh, there may be some interactions I may have had with a few vampires while well in the States of Pepe Warhol as well. I hope they did not breach the masquerade. But in any case, I must go look for a kitty. <laughs> and the jar of spaghetti sauce. I am feeling inspired. May I have a spare sheet of paper? Absolutely. I go outside and they just start, like, you know, looking looking around. Like, Meow. It's fucking downtown Hollywood. Fucking cats everywhere, I'm sure. And the loose people of questionable morals who probably would gladly take your drugs. So you just go outside and start... Oh, no, I'm it. sorry. It's... The level of aggravated damage may be healed only with a full day of rest, 24 hours, and an expenditure of 5 blood points. Though a vampire may, at the end of the full day's rest, cure an additional five, uh, additional aggravated health level by spending an additional 5 blood points and 1 willpower per extra aggravated health level to be healed. I recall Corvus had what? a long time to get It's shit. Blood. So, uh, just take a nap. But that means we can recover more than one hell. You, you can recover multiple in one day. You can recover one, two, three, four. I know. You can only recover two. Safely. You can use all your blood, but... I'm not looking for some weirdo to introduce myself to again. That always ends three. up turning tits up. Three, four. I'm gonna try and take it easy this time and simply look for a cat. You know, simply look for a cat. So you go outside and start meowing, and you hear somebody yell from the window, Shut up, you druggie! Now, do you mean, like, the animal cat or the 40s cat? Like, the cool cat? Uh, <laughs> just the a cool, cool cat. cat. Oh, sorry, are you going to use your animalism for this? Yeah, yes. I'm going to spend a bullet point to use your animalism. And, uh, what do, what do you say as you... As you fucking meow at the night. I say, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I've got some possible catnip in my apartment. <sighs> you sound so rapey. <laughs> that, is, that is the rapiest way to ever get an animal with Just wait till we get the drugs in them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bob, what the heck? So, uh, you hear, like, the rumble of trash cans. And this tawny gray cat comes out of the shadows and says, What's catnip? Is this great stuff? Uh, you guys... Are... <laughs> Stick him with the needle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any needles. <laughs> Would you like to come in and, and check out my garbage can for maybe some scraps? <laughs> yes, I would like to Oscar the Grouch. No, I... <laughs> I don't think I should trust you. You I... seem kind of rapey. <laughs> I've got food inside my hotel. Check it out. <laughs> I have candy. Yeah? What kind of food? That, that chicken, that, that chicken, that fish. Oh, I bet you like that fish. Ah, oh, stop it! Uh, manipulation subterfuge. 
versus the cat. Hold on, I think I have it, something. You yeah. don't want to fuck with cats. This is a world of darkness. Yeah. <laughs> is it copyright protected? Not, I'm not going to show it to the camera. Not even Gentle by Earth Ash would fuck but with the cat. <laughs> Two successes. Well, I'll do it later. How much? Okay. Two successes? Oh, man. I think I know what you're going to show him. I don't know specifically, but I got an idea. The cat starts purring and rubs up against your leg. What a good little kitty. Come on with me. It will follow you back to the hotel room. God, this is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is moonlighting for something. Moonlighting for what? Hey, hey. He's trying to try to get some pussy.